Leos. Spirit guys, what are the messages for the Leos? Leos, Leos, Leos. What is going on with the Leos? What are the Leos thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? What are they going to? Leos, Leos, Leos. For August 11th to August 14, 2022, Leos. What are the Leos thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? What are they going to? Leos, Leos, Leos. Spirit guys, my God, the angels or angel ancestors, my God, angel, Holy Spirit. What are the messages for the Leos? What is going on in the Leos? Life, what are the Leos thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? What are they going through? Leos, Leos, Leos for August 11th to August 14th, 2022. Leos. What are the messages, Spirit Guides? My God, Angel or Angel Ancestors, my God, Angel Holy Spirit, our Angel Charles Chambers, my son, my guiding angel. What are the messages for the Leos? What is going on in the Leo's life? What are the Leo's thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? What are they going through? Leo's. Okay, Leo's. We're going to cut these cards. Leo's. Leo's. What are the Leo's thinking, feeling, doing? What are they up to? Going through? So the bottom card we have to have fun. You could be going to court, taking someone to court, child custody, separation, and divorce. Hmm. I don't know if you work for some type of government system, some type of institution, corporation, or something like that. But the high fan speaks about marriage. You could be getting married or going to a funeral. Okay, or like I said, you could be taking someone to court, the father of your child, the mother of your child, uh, yeah, separation, divorce, or something like that, it could be, yeah, okay, that's the bottom of the card. Top card, we have a seven of the swords, so this could be you, Leo, Leo and the Aquarius are the opposite signs. So, seven of swords, this could be you, moving in silence, being up to no good, Leo, silence, Sneaky, plotting, planning to do something to someone, to take something from someone, to steal something from someone. You could be hiding something, being very deceptive, telling lies, spreading lies, doing some shit that has someone's back. Okay, the Seven of Swords. Yep, that's you, Leo. The Seven of Swords. Sneaky, moving in silence, plotting, planning, just doing some devilish shit. The world call, yeah. Coming in, trying to end someone's world, end something for someone, trying to stop something for someone. I don't know what you're trying to do. Whatever you're trying to do, come as a motherfucker, Leo. So this is you trying to stop someone from doing something. Whatever they do, I guess they do it in the public. I guess they do it well. You know? <laughs> Shit. I guess they do it well. And you're trying to stop them. Someone's trying to end something. Someone's success. Someone's career, dreams. I don't know, life or whatever. Seven of Swords in the World card. Mm, that's not good. Yeah, this is someone's plotting, planning to set someone up. To take something, steal something, to stop someone, to end something for someone. Really sad. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, someone can be jealous of someone's Nine of Pentacles. Someone can be jealous of someone's beautiful, gorgeous outspoken out you know going very confident and strong nine of pentacles yeah so don't be jealous of someone beauty looks money strength that is so sad so someone wants to end someone's looks beauty money happiness peace and joy money they confidence they strength king of cups scorpio energy so someone's very emotional. This could be a Scorpio that's very emotional towards you, or this could be you very emotional towards someone. I guess because someone not talking to you, or I don't know, you and this person's not talking, or this could be a Scorpio that's pissed off at you, or this could be you. But someone's frustrated at someone's beauty, money, look. Someone's just, I don't know, this could be a family member of yours, or this could be you, uh, Leo. Frustrated, someone's frustrated, angry, bitter. Mad because someone's not dealing with them, don't want to deal with them, don't want to have anything to do with them. 
This could be a lover, an ex, or a family member, a friend, or who whatsoever. Or this could be you. Okay. All right, let's clarify some cards. Clarify the Seven of Swords for the Leos. Thank you, Spirit. Three of Cups. Yeah, someone's trying to come in between someone's happiness, peace and joy, celebration. Someone's mad because someone's moving forward, moving on, and they don't like that shit. So, Leo, this is you. I don't know if you're jealous of someone's happiness. Okay, someone's this is a cancer sign. I don't know if you're jealous of someone's new beginnings, happiness, peace, and joy. Someone's moving forward. Someone can be moving forward in a new relationship. And you don't like that, Leo. Or this could be someone doing this to you. Okay. Yeah, this is someone trying to end someone's relationship, someone's celebration, someone's, you know, rekindling with someone, re reuniting with someone. Yeah, this is sad. This is sad. <laughs> this is pathetic. Okay, spirit, moving on. Clarify the world card for the Leos. What's the world card? Spirit, give me more information on the world card. Clarify the world card. Thank you. Wow. We have an eight of cups. Okay, someone could be coming towards you, Leo. This can be a Pisces. All right, this can be someone coming towards you, or this can be you walking away from someone, walking away from a relationship or a situation. So this is someone's walking away. They can be coming towards you. This can be an ex of yours, or a family member, or a friend. But someone's going through karma. Someone's, like, struggling, going through some shit, got hidden genesis modes and flaws, keeping secrets and all. This is someone that's been back in and back and forth out of your life, or this is what you're doing to someone, Leo. But someone's going through karma for how they did someone, how they treated someone, trying to end someone's life, end someone's relationships, business. This is someone's catching hell in their ass. This is someone's reaping what they sold, you know? Yeah, someone could be struggling, homeless, out of job. Um... Like, someone's coming in because they need somebody's help. So, someone could be coming towards you, Leo, because they need your help. Or this could be you. Okay, the Nine of Swords. So, someone's trying to cause someone hurt and pain, Leo. This could be you. Stress the fuck out over uh, the Nine of Pentacles. You could be stressed out over someone's looks, money, beauty, strength, confidence, happiness, peace, and joy. Someone's scared, Leo. Are you scared? This is nine of swords. Could be a Gemini, uh, uh, Libra, and Aquarius card. Also, this could be you. So you can be stressed out, nervous, having anxiety, Leo, up all night, can't sleep because something that you did. You feeling guilty how you treated this person. You feeling nervous and scared. You hope something don't come out. You hope somebody don't find out about something. This is you feeling guilt and shame. Do I clarify the King of Cups for the Leos? Yeah, for one, someone could be watching someone's family. Or someone's watching you, Leo. It's like someone's like mad because someone's happy, stable, at peace where they at. It's like someone's watching someone's home, their relationship. Like someone's mad because someone's moving on. Okay, someone's like unbothered at peace with themselves. Someone's jealous of that. Yeah, I don't know if this is a family member or a friend or this could be you. But someone's watching someone's home. Someone's jealous and mad and bitter because someone's moving on, moving forward. They found new love in their life. Someone got married or about to get married. Mmm. Mmm. So this could be you, Leo, bitter, or this could be the Scorpio that's bitter, or who bitter, or somebody sour. <laughs> so we got to clarify the Three of Cups. Give me more information on, okay, judgment. So someone's passing judgment on someone, saying someone is a hoe, saying someone this and that. This is someone just saying all types of shit about someone because they jealous of them. 
They jealous of their new beginning. They jealous of their celebration, their happiness, their peace, their joy. Someone's just mad because someone's moving forward, moving on. They could be saying all types of shit about someone. This could be you, Leo, saying this about someone. Judging someone because they happy. They ignore you. They not paying you no attention. They don't want to deal with you. Or this could be someone doing this to you. Someone's passing judgment. Saying all types of negative shit. Saying shit just very... Yeah, someone's judging someone. Someone could be saying someone gay, Leo, or yeah, or you could yeah, you could be saying someone's gay, a lesbian, or someone sleeps around, has sex with different people, Leo. This is you. You could be saying this about this person, and this person not even like that. Or someone could be saying this about you, but someone could be saying shit about someone, and they they are the one that gay or lesbian sleeps around with people. Yeah, someone could be saying someone sleeps around with people, like has sex, lesbian, and gay, or they have sex for money, they, you know, they a whore, and all this type of shit, <laughs> trying to ruin someone's reputation, this is pathetic, yeah, it's all about jealousy and envy, because someone's happy, you know, feeling good, looking good, you know, yeah, somebody's saying all types of shit about somebody. Mm mm mm. So that cut out of Eight of Cups for the Leos. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Pentacles. Someone's watching someone, keeping tabs on someone. I don't know, this person that's coming in. Okay. It's like someone's watching. This person can be watching you online, or you could be watching someone online, reading someone text messages, watching someone on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is, Facebook. All right, this person could be watching you, Leo, or you've been watching this person, or something like that. But someone's up to no good. It's like someone's trying to find out something about someone, get information on someone. Okay. Cut for the nine of swords. Cut for the nine of swords for Leos. Thank you. Oh my God, the five of swords again. Leo, what is you doing, honey? It's like someone's trying to fuck with a Gemini. Like someone's trying to cause issue towards a Gemini. Leo, is this you? Targeting the Gemini, stalking the Gemini, doing some deceptive things towards a Gemini. My phone always rings when I'm doing a reading. Five of Swords. It's like this could be family members or friends, or this could be people doing this to you, or this could be you targeting a Gemini. Trying to turn people against this person. Trying to cause this person's burdens in their life. Oh, this could be someone doing this to you, Leo, okay? It could be both ways, okay? But someone's targeting, trying to have someone scared and nervous, trying to have someone all in their head. Just, just trying to put fear in someone. Being very deceptive towards someone like a Gemini, like someone trying to deceive a Gemini, betray the Gemini, targeting, gang stalking. This is crazy. Or oh, this is someone doing this to you, okay? Go both ways. It's good. Clarify the four ones. Clarify the four ones. Yeah, five pinkles. Someone wants to see someone out on the streets, homeless, depressed, going through poverty. So, Leo, I don't know if this is you doing this. You want to see someone sad, mad, unhappy, miserable, okay? Like, someone's stressed out because someone's happy. Someone's at peace. Someone is stable, Like, someone's like, 
don't know, someone's just looking stupid. Like, because someone's moving on, because someone's happy. It's like someone's, like, mad, stressed out because someone is happy. Like, someone's fucking miserable as fuck. Because someone's stable, because someone's at peace, because someone's moved on, moving on. Someone can have some mental illness, mental issues as well. I don't, Leo, this can be you or somebody else, but someone, um, maybe you've never felt love. Maybe no one never showed you love. I don't know, some shit like that. Like, someone feels like someone don't deserve to be happy. Like, <laughs> OMG. Like, someone wants someone to be struggling, unhappy, miserable, going through poverty, just... They say hurt people hurt people. And that's so sad that people have to hurt people to make their self feel good, to boost their ego. But when you know the real truth... I mean, you're not going to feel better by hurting someone because if that's what you have to do to make yourself feel good... That's pathetic. Oh, you could be feeling sad, Leo, because someone's moving out your life, someone's moving on, someone's finding new love. You know, it can go both ways, okay? Play about a judgment for the Leos. What's the judgment about, spirit? Holding on to grudges. Three of Wands. And someone's holding on to grudges, holding on to someone. This could be an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. Or this could be you, three of wands. You holding on grudges. You, like, got something against someone. Like. It's like someone's waiting on something for someone to, for something to happen. Like, someone's holding a grudge towards someone because they're moving on, they're moving forward. Okay, let's, let's see something else. Clarify the judgment. Spirit, give me more information on the judgment. You're the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's mad because someone's the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's jealous because someone's minding their fucking business, focus on their self, their health, their wealth. Meditating, healing. Like someone's jealous because someone is minding their business. They don't want to have anything to do with you, Leo, or this could be you. But someone's mad because someone is focused on themselves. They're not giving you no attention, or you're not giving someone attention. But someone's mad, Leo, this is to be you. You could be mad at the Queen of Pentacles because this person is unbothered. This person is healing. Um. This person is minding their business. This person don't give you any attention, Leo. Or this could be the other way around, okay? But someone's mad because someone's the queen of pentacles. Someone's a boss bitch. Someone's mad because someone's a boss bitch. Someone know how to mind their business. Someone's mad because someone not giving them any attention. Especially low vibration, negative attention. No. But someone's mad because someone is not bothered about what they saying about them. <laughs> so Leo, you could be mad about mad at this person because this person is unbothered what you saying about them. You could be talking shit about this person and you mad because this person ain't mad. You could be mad because this person's not mad because what you're saying. This person is unbothered about what you're saying or trying to say or what you're trying to do. Or it can be the other way around, okay? Okay, so we got clear for the page of pentacles. Thank you. Nine of cups. So someone's looking at someone. Someone could be drunk, toxic, on drugs, on alcohol. Yeah, someone could be looking at someone like, why is they smiling? Why are they so happy? Like, you know, why are they, you know, why are they feeling so good? Yeah, someone's looking at someone like, why are they so happy? Why are they feeling so good? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, someone can be like jealous of someone because they, I don't know, they feel smudged and pleased and satisfied and happy. Or this could be you, Leo, feeling, I don't know, toxicated, drunk, high. And that's why you happy. You had a couple of drinks. Someone can be very promiscuous as well. <laughs> Could have had a five of swords. Not that eight of swords. Yeah, this is a Gemini card. So someone's trying to fuck with a Gemini. Leo, this is you trying to fuck with a Gemini. Trying to keep a Gemini stuck, focused in their head. Trying to throw them off balance. Trying to make them confused. Trying to make them doubt themselves. Trying to make them seem like they're crazy, they stupid. Leo, this is what you're trying to do to a Gemini. Trying to make someone fearful. Trying to make someone feel insecure. Yeah, someone think that like stalking, a Gemini stalking someone is going to make them scared or nervous, make them doubt themselves, trying to make them feel like they stupid, like they, they don't know what they doing. This is sad. Mm-hmm. So, Leo, you can be doing this to a Gemini. Gang stalking the Gemini, just trying to be in this Gemini energy. There's like doing binding spells, magic on this person, dark magic, trying to bind this person, trying to keep this person stuck, uh, confused and shit. Don't want to see this person move forward. Wow. It's crazy. It's very clear for the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's doing magic, magician. I said that. Leo, you could be doing magic on someone. You could be going to a high priest, a practitioner, a light worker. You do magic on someone to make someone feel some kind of way. This is so pathetic. This really is. This is really pathetic. Or someone doing this to you. Yeah, someone wants someone to feel left out in the cold. It's like you're project you're projecting your insecurity, your low self-esteem, your hurt and pain out on someone. Out on a Gemini or out on a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, or they can be doing this to you. But someone can be doing magic magician to make someone feel sad and lonely, unloved, unwanted. So pathetic. Um we have clarified the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this Gemini is very protected. The Temperance. This person is very protected, okay? This person can be an Earth Angel, Star Seal, Chosen One. Yes, this Gemini is very protected, Leo, okay? Mm-hmm. This person is very protected. Trust and believe. Yes, this person, her ancestors, his ancestors, Guardian Angels, Trust me, they, this person is very protected, okay? All right, Leo, this is y'all reading. Stay blessed and prayed up and keep praying and switches. <laughs>